You know, it's been an exciting couple of weeks, and I think this uh, this week is just as ex exciting as we've had uh, in our run. Uh, we have two young men that, uh, and earlier this week, and Trey and Tim, that made really uh, career decisions that everybody is very pleased with. Um, Mitch and uh, Glenn Robinson right now would also like to talk with you because of all the speculation uh, that, uh, that's gone on this week. Uh, they would like to uh, both make an announcement. So Glenn, Glenn and uh, Mitch. Good afternoon. Uh, first and foremost, we'd like to thank you guys for coming out. Uh, we appreciate the support and uh, wondering our decision. Um, after gathering all the information and sitting down with my family, I decided to continue my career here at Michigan. Uh, it's still plenty for me to work on and get better as a player and a person, and uh, I'm just excited for what lies ahead. Uh, in a short period of time, this university, this community, and all the Wolverine fans embrace me, and uh, I'm thankful for that. I uh, look forward to representing Block M across my jersey another year and uh, being a great leader in this team. How you doing? Um, first off, I'd like to thank all my teammates here. You know, I know they've been to two already. I uh, just want to thank my teammates and coaches for being here and supporting us too. Um, you know, after doing all the research and gathering all the information, like Mitch said, um, I also have decided to return for my sophomore year here at the University of Michigan. And, you know, we feel like this university has a lot for us to offer, you know, and a lot to offer us. Um, and we're excited to come back for another season, you know, hopefully compete at another national championship and uh, take this university on uh, another ride that we haven't been on yet. Before we take some questions, Coach Bieler would also like to make a statement. As we are, uh, you know, as I said, we're thrilled about uh, every announcement this week. Uh, and we really felt uh, uh, we, we compiled as much information as we could in a short amount of time. Uh, it was all positive for every one of these, these four young men. And uh, really pleased that I think everybody's very comfortable right now with their decisions. And that, that's what this is really about. What's best for these young men uh, can also be what's best for the university. It has to be. So we're, 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 pleased. we're so thrilled, the teammates are thrilled uh, to be playing with these, uh, again, with these two really uh, uh, young men who as a freshman uh, probably exceeded some expectations that some people had for them. So what, they, what they're going to bring to this team, return to this team with energy, with talent, but most importantly with attitude that has been so uh, important to any of the success that we've had in, the, in these six years that we've been here, particularly over the last three years. So we're all, everybody, their teammates over there, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of great basketball uh, in the future at Michigan. There's been great basketball, and uh, these two guys uh, make it, it give us a great chance to continue the success we've had. So uh, we thank everybody for their patience through all this. Uh, I do not think, uh, Spike, you're not making any announcement today or anything? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Giving out any dates coach. or anything like that? There's no date? Okay. So, so that, that uh, well, you never know. You never know, but at the same time, this is, a, this is another great day in the Michigan basketball program. Thank you. So at this time, we'll take questions. Go ahead. Glenn, were your decisions kind of tied together? Did you kind of, kind of want to go together or stay together? Um, you know, we just thought that was what was best for us, and that was our decision, you know, and um, uh, that kind of played a role a little bit, you know, because we've been like brothers since day one, you know, so a little bit, I, I would think that it kind of controlled over here. Living together hasn't changed that at all for you? No, no, it hasn't. It hasn't changed. It's still my roommate. Go ahead, then. Uh, for both you guys, when did you uh, probably make up your mind? Uh, you know, uh, we had talked this week uh, uh, with my family. Coaches and uh, I finally made the decision uh, Tuesday, and I uh, just thought it would be best for for me and uh, and the team for a comeback for another year. And for me, you know, uh, looking at this situation with, my coaches, with the coaching staff and you know, my family, uh, this situation probably came down to yesterday. You know, I finally made my decision yesterday what I was going to do uh, and, and finalize that. Go ahead. Mitch, Mitch, do you ever imagine a month ago, before you had your, before you really started breaking out, do you, do you even feel have to make an announcement like this? And how much, how different was it because you had such a great end of the year? You no, know, I didn't really think about it. Um, you know, I was just doing what I was told, just having fun on the court, and uh, good things happened, and uh, 
got the opportunity, but you know, I, I have this opportunity to come back to this great university and uh, take advantage of it. At what point did you guys even start to realize that you would have a decision? I would say, you know, not until after the season when we sat down and talked to the coach. Uh, that wasn't on our mind, you know. We were here with the team, um, you know, every day at practice in the game that we're out there competing. So I don't think that any of this NBA talk or anything was on our minds uh, necessarily until after the season. What did you guys hear from the NBA? Like, did they tell you where you might be picked or did they tell you your positives or negatives or for your strengths yeah. or weaknesses? Any information they get is it has to stay confidential. Yeah. Anything else? Can we ask? Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, when did these guys come to tell you together? How, and what? Would, I want to know what your maybe reaction was, John, when you found out that you'd have them back. Well, the uh, you know we we've discussed it over this. As you know, it's been a very busy week, and we, as we as the reports came in, you know, uh, Trey's uh, between Trey and Tim, they came in sort of over a period of two or three days. So as we got to it, they they we knew the. Uh, the situation with Trey, with the I got to go to the, the, the Oscar Robertson Award was really something we gave them time to think about some things. We finally went over the numbers with them over the last 48 hours, and uh, then we said, "Go, you know, this is what it is. We want if you can come back with both feet in. You see all these numbers. Uh, you come back with both feet in. You know how we feel, uh, but we want what's best for you. And uh, they feel this is what's best for them. So obviously we're thrilled. We're thrilled. So." It was, we, you know, we just got done playing eight days ago. So it, I think we did, and, and with Trey and I going to, for the Wooden Award, uh, and that, it was been probably four days of really being able to really correspond with each other. They had two great workouts uh, the last, last two days that we could work out, and uh, we're all excited about what we saw from them and from their teammates. Anything further? Coach, how glad are you just to have this part behind you now? Behind you. You would think, I presume, that this is behind you and you kind of focus on the team this for next year now. Yeah, I mean, th there's some sadness involved knowing that the five seniors and, and Tim and, and Trey will not be, uh, we won't get that opportunity to coach those seven again because that was, uh, that is sad to, to know that they were such a, they've been such a big part of the success, whether they scored very few points or that they uh, were our leading scorers. However, when we were at, we had two, two sessions of, uh, of eight over the last couple of days of four and four working out. And watching the, these eight perform in practice just makes you say, I cannot wait for next year. I'm sure they can wait, a little, they need a little time off, but you add those and, and the three recruits, and that's 11 young men that we feel very, very strongly about. Okay, at this time we'll just, Stop right now. The assistant coaches will be available as well as these three for one-on-one. -on -one.